Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In a letter written on this day, January 25, 1864, an unidentified member of the 14th Wisconsin Infantry described the destruction of the slave pens at the forks of the road. The soldier wrote the following, Our first quarters were in a long range of barracks used for a number of years as slave pens. Very many of the men composing the colored regiment had been sold in them, brought from Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, and other slave states. In large gangs iron, they were placed in these dungeons until a sale could be effected. As the position was very much exposed, we were ordered to construct the barracks within the fortifications and to tear down these slave pens to obtain lumber to build them. This order was received just at evening and was held with the wildest enthusiasm by these men who had been chained, gained, and whipped, and suffered tortures utter unutterable within these same walls. And through that long night they were worked with a terrible earnestness, and the morning sun saw the slave pens of Natchez level to the ground. Never it is hoped to be again reconstructed. I am Carlisha Elmore, a senior at Natchez High, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.